real quick, your reaction to Spence versus Crawford. What did you think about that fight? Uh, it was insane, man. It's a uh, honestly now hindsight was twenty twenty. Of course, when you line up the styles, of course this was gonna happen. But I was trying to see if uh, if Crawford was on his Hopkins stuff. You know, he's thirty six and everything, and he's not slowing down. You know, his reflexes. If they were any slower, Spence would have taken over. But those reflexes were on point. And he's still fresh and. Uh, man, that was insane. I didn't expect that type of a performance from him, but props to Crawford all day and Spence as well. When did you realize the fight's over? Um, honestly, a few rounds in because the first one I saw Spence, I was like, all right, this is what we can expect. But then after that, Crawford every round just started picking him uh, apart, and Spence doesn't didn't have the adjustments, I guess. You know, maybe his reactions are a little. Uh, who knows if 47 is just too much for him already. I actually saw him last week up at Mount Charleston. Uh, running out the mountain a week out from the fight is kind of a, a big deal. So I don't know if maybe the weight's too much, you know, it's time. There's always excuses, but honestly, just at the end of the day, props to both of you guys for making that fight, man. As a fight fan, I, I love it and I respect it. Mavala, what can we expect you? Any last words from you? Anything you um, want to get off your chest? Uh, not yet, man. You know, my team's working on everything, and uh, I'll have a, you know, maybe a date or uh, everything for you guys soon. But for now, we're just, uh, we're just waiting on to let my team do my work, and I'm in the gym preparing to give you guys wars. All right, thank you so much. Yes, sir, thank you.